The RFP process is madness. It's time to turn chaos into control. What if you could see what you're not doing when you pitch that's actually costing you time and money and instead focus on what really matters when it comes to winning? For audiences all around the world, I present tips, case studies and stories drawn from our experience. I was fortunate enough to work with uh, American Express and I worked with their global uh, sales team. So the global head of sales would say to me at the time, look, we, before you got here, you know, we weren't great, but we weren't bad. We were winning one in four. We were winning our fair share. 18 months after we'd instituted uh, a better practice, they were winning seven to eight out of 10 pitches. I'll explain our method for tackling the three main phases of effective pitch preparation, strategy, story, and presentation. We'll help you identify what you're not doing when it comes to pitching. That's costing you time and money. And we'll get you to focus on what really matters when it comes to winning business. After 17, 18 years of traveling the world, helping clients win business, you get to observe a lot of how people go about pitching to win business. And safe to say, a lot of people want to go in a very subjective way around guesswork, and they want to prescribe their pitch when they haven't really diagnosed it. Each talk is designed to discuss some pretty passionately held opinions. Among the things I talk about is the deeply flawed RFP process and the fact that people continually ignore the necessity to analyse client needs and people's insane obsession with PowerPoint rather than focusing on pitch strategy and story from the outset of their preparation. Together, we'll discuss how you take your pitch preparation process from chaos to control, stand out from the crowd and increase your chances of going from pitch to partner.